Saki was back in the uh, back in action here. Kind of missed her. Did you? I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, she hasn't been in there for a while, so we haven't had a lot of crazy towns. But uh, apparently, she's upped her game. Geo says so. Crazy town. Oh. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much she's upped her game. Rology. Good morning, or good afternoon. Well, first, let me say that um, uh, you know, and it would uh, it would fall on for pre- predominantly wealthy Americans, and uh, uh, as it relates to details, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't uh, have uh, any. It will. I, Do you want this bill to be fully paid for? Uh, the president has proposed uh, means of fully paying for uh, this package, including the tax enforcement components. Uh, I feel like there's a baseball analogy here I won't really want to deliver on, so my husband thinks I'm cool, but I can't think of it. Uh, look, I think the president, uh, having served 36 years in the Senate, he's uh, always going to be deeply involved. He's always going to roll up his sleeves. Uh, he's ready to roll up his sleeves. Ready, the, o- the door to the Oval Office is always open, and he'll be deeply involved and engaged in these uh, negotiations over the coming days. Uh, I don't know. Uh, ha- how you I will leave it to all of you to uh, to characterize or give a label for that uh, and uh, and as uh, Stacey Abrams said uh, over the weekend incremental steps forward in making voting rights more accessible making voting more available is a good thing sure. uh, and more, more than 40 states where there's legislation moving forward that makes it more difficult for people to exercise a fundamental ro- right which is the right to vote this is uh, not uh, the end of our effort this is in some ways the beginning. Uh, and this offer is nearly double what the Republican offer was uh, just a few weeks ago. That's another positive sign in the right direction. Uh, uh, we have the highest ethical standards of any administration in history. <laughs> number of ethics officials <laughs> she have said that conveyed with a straight that. Face. Um, and we're proud of that. Having lived through a lot of legislative battles himself, he knows that sometimes they take some time. The sausage making takes some time. Bernie Sanders Don't is tell Cuomo pitching that. a reconciliation package that's up to $6 billion that includes some of the president's other priorities. Trillion. I'm uh, sorry, $6 trillion. It's a lot more money that way. I <laughs> If, if I'm just here to get you the accurate info. NCAA student athletes uh, work very hard, both on the athletic field and in the classroom. Uh, I'm a retired one myself. Um, uh, go ahead. Thanks. I think there's a fly on your head. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. At least it's not a cicada, I swear. Those things are... Okay, but I, I do have an actual question. Eat it? <laughs> I appreciate it. I was like, is there breaking news? But she's, yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, what's clear and what, where we, uh, what we're measuring, I think, is uh, um, if, uh, if and when, and as I, as I will acknowledge, we don't expect there to be a magical 10 or more Republican votes. They've been clear. Uh, the Republican Party and Republicans in the Senate. They do not want to make it easier to vote. They do not want to make it more accessible for Americans to vote. Um, but, uh, uh, and uh, again, the purpose of this proposal is to uh, move to electric vehicles as an industry where people are uh, driving electric vehicles, making our climate uh, making our climate healthier, but also creating jobs in this industry that he feels is an industry of the future. I don't okay, have anything more to it. Go ahead, I think we gotta move on. Go ahead, in the, go ahead right there. Go ahead, but actually, this woman right in front of you, I was trying to point to her, and then I'll go to you next. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 right behind you. Go ahead. Oh, right here in the, did you have a question? Right there in the book of that shirt? Yeah, I did. Go ahead. Okay. No, sorry. I think we're going to move on to the next question, because I've just answered that, and it's personal. Uh, I don't have anything to preview for you at this point in time. Uh, I think we have certainly seen problematic rhetoric, followers of QAnon and conspiracy theories who not just who don't just run but are elected to office. Obviously, we take um, the rhetoric of uh, uh, the the other the, the former guy, as we like to say, uh, quite seriously, uh, as everyone should. Um. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think guy. you were right, G. I think she has upped her game. That was. Uh... Kind of missed that. It gives me a little time to like kind of twitch every night when uh, <laughs> uh, kind of missed it. <laughs>